What is up, longevity lovers? My name's Christian Bates, and this is Longevity Power. For the last four months, I haven't produced a video for two reasons. One is that I've been working on the back end of Longevity Power, and I'm really excited about that. The other is something that I have to get off my chest in this video. It's something that is a huge uh, part or rather avoiding it is a huge part of my fo my foundational philosophy and the way I run longevity power and the way I just navigate the world and my health. And it's something that we all encounter over and over again in our pursuit of health and nutrition and fitness and being a more excellent version of yourself. It's something that we're all guilty of. And that's the following concept, dogma. Dogma is when you have an idea and you present it as like a platitude. It's a non-truth or just something that's not true all the time. Or you form a growing belief system around these ideas that are just not consistent, not true. And it is something that we're kind of pre-programmed. We're wired as human beings to be a little superstitious, to be non-scientific about certain things. And... I got to say that it can be quite detrimental. For example, 10 years ago, I got really into a raw, low-fat, vegan diet. And in the beginning, I, I made the following fallacy, which is most people's fallacy when it comes to uh, religious nutrition dogma. <laughs> and that is, wow, this worked great for me short term. Therefore, it must work great for everybody long term. Eh, that is a poor conclusion. Some things do work great short term, but they're not necessarily like the ideal human diet long term. So, although I felt great for the first couple of weeks eating this low fat raw vegan diet, which was in many ways an upgrade, not in all ways, but in some ways it was an upgrade from my previous diet. Therefore, I did feel better short term. But in the long run, run it was to my detriment. And in hindsight, I wish that I was just doing what uh, so many of the th great things that I do now. Uh, but I also do regret uh, being zealous about it and spreading the word. I may have planted some seeds in people that may have led them a little bit astray. Although I do feel that I also planted seeds in people... Um, that helped them get more into health and hopefully they navigated them their way away from the whole like only eat fruits and vegetables thing uh, into eating more healthier things like fats. <laughs> and actually I, I'm, I'm grateful for the experience in that I have now a great contrast because I avoided fats and, and the uh, perils of that, I now have such a great reverence for fat and animal products and use them as a big foundation of my diet, my all-around health strategy. So I hope that this video uh, reminds you to be more sensible about how you approach really cool concepts in nutrition. Like it's still great to be excited and to be confident about what you do. But to say, hey, this is going to work 100%, 100% of the time for 100% of the people and just dial that back. There are so many things, things that I really like to focus on like tonic herbs and like animal fats that I can definitely say work great most of the time for most people. That is for sure. But to push it all the way and say, hey, this is an absolute, uh, would be dogmatic. And would and is simply, I understand, and uh, through my own experience, as well as looking at even scientific studies, uh, that is just not true. Now, there actually are a lot of scientific studies, as well as like legendary long-term, multi-thousand-year-old um, herbalism advice that does say, hey, this is kind of like true for all humans. But even then, I like to hold back and say, you know what, this is super awesome, but see how you feel. Start slow, slowly build up. So now that I've taken a break, I'm about to blast your toe socks off with uh, great videos. Stay tuned. Please let me know after you like and subscribe in the comment section the dogma that you've experienced in the past. Uh, maybe you've dabbled in some hype, uh, some very narrow-minded uh, dietary advice or maybe anything you could you know maybe you got it really religious or maybe you got really into i don't know some kind of thing that was just not you or just didn't work for you in the long run and let me know like in a, in a brief couple of sentences what you did and what you learned uh, because we all would appreciate your experience and we can immediately learn the insights that you, that you did and so that's 
I just love that so much. And I feel that now, um, now that the internet is so expanded, we can cross reference each other's experiences as well as, uh, you know, more double blind study science uh, conclusions so that we don't have to make these mistakes anymore. And we can um, all gradually, every day, do a little bit more for our health so we can experience greater and greater states of being human. I'll see you very soon.